is stirred. What bugs me is that people like this usually unravel, get sloppy. It's kind of getting better. Go back. Yeah, that's good. Morgan, I'm feeling calls left and right here. What's happening? Case May National News. They're starting to call me Eye Snatcher. All right, um, you're going to hold a small, controlled press conference. Answer their questions, but try to squash that name. I want the people to be aware, but I do not want to make a boogeyman out of this guy. You understand? Yeah. Is there something else? You're not answering Strauss's calls. She's just trying to keep tabs. She can wait. Morgan, I think you should take the time and feel the call. Gosh, we have to set up a tip line. We have to go over JJ's talking points. We haven't gotten a profile out yet. All of that takes priority we're dealing with Strauss. I understand all that. Let us help you set up strategy while you talk to her. We'll regroup with you before we proceed. We have enough battles, believe me. You don't want to fight her too. Let me get this profile out, and then I'll talk to Strauss. He's done a good job. He is. Have you thought about how this is going to end? What do you mean? Morgan as our unit chief is a temporary thing. It is. He's a natural leader. He'll excel. What happens when he's asked to step down? Those are to cut them so they bleed out. This indicates he might have a hunting background. We're urging citizens to be hyper vigilant at night. He is killing in different areas of the city and public places. His large kill zone could be related to some type of travel pattern in his life, which indicates a comfort with these neighborhoods. While wow, certainly is he killing people every day, the escalation might be caused by a self imposed timeline. He has to murder so many people take this many eyes to accomplish a task. So he's crazy, but he's got a mission? Actually, yes. He's acting on a delusion that's fueling this murder spree. For example, a man named Herbert Bowen. He had a fear of a catastrophic earthquake in California. Now he believed that by killing people and offering them blood as a sacrifice to the earth, he could prevent an earthquake. He was a paranoid schizophrenic and his delusion led him to kill 13 people. Uh, what should we look for when we're on the streets? We believe he's a white male, 27 to 35. We believe he is driving a van or a pickup truck with a removable cap. Something utilitarian that can get bloody and wash out easily. He may also have applied for hunting licenses. He has some sort of medical or surgical training, but fell short of making a career. He may have been in a halfway house or been granted leave from a treatment facility. Maybe his family moved him away and now it's back. You know, anyone who fits these types of scenarios, please call our tip line. Our run sub kills at night, employs hunting tactics, and is patient. We will wait until he can be alone with his victims. 